you know, one of the things that um, I just kind of want to touch upon finally is just how important it is for me as the leader of our school to find ways to broaden the perspective of our students. And I just want to share a personal story of, of mine. I'm originally from New York, so I'm not native to Sarasota, though I've been here for nine years and love, love Sarasota. But one of the things about growing up in New York City, from the Bronx, one of the things about growing up in New York City is there's, there's no uh, end to just the resources that uh, come through some of the inner city schools. And one of the things that I remember very, very young, I must have been in about the third or the fourth grade, I was definitely in elementary school, was getting on the yellow school bus and taking a field trip to Carnegie Hall. And I didn't know what chamber music was prior to that experience. Uh, I think even on the bus, I remember our, our teacher uh, talking about chamber music and it wasn't going to be a full orchestra. It was going to be, you know, just several different uh, individuals kind of playing. She used the word playing music intimately. I remember thinking, what does that mean? We went into Carnegie Hall, I had never been there prior. And it was something that really um, made an impression on me, a very deep impression on me. I don't remember consciously when I was in the third or the fourth grade, whenever, whatever year that was, I don't remember consciously thinking I want to learn to play the violin after that trip, but I do remember being interested in it. And just a few years later, when I went to middle school and the opportunity arose for me to learn how to play the violin, and then a few years after that, the opportunity arose for me to you know, audition for some community orchestras for children in New York City. Um, I, I definitely realized that it was something that was a passion, that I can relate back to that first field trip experience that I had when I was in elementary school. The height of all of this was when I was, I think, a senior or junior in, in, in high school, and I had stayed with playing the violin, and the orchestra that I played with was a, called a borough-wide orchestra, where they had um, you know, student, um, students who were playing and th throughout the borough of the Bronx. And we played at Carnegie Hall, and I remember, you know, that experience. I remember talking to my, my mom, who happened to be a chaperone of the field trip when I was in elementary school, and I remember her reminding me of that day, and she said, I realized and I remember it piqued your interest, was the phrases that I remember her using. And so I attribute, you know, resources like the Ed Explorer grant um, to being able to open up the doors for our, our children because you just never know where it will take them, but you do know, and I do know and see that it has a positive impact on them as well. So our staff is excited, uh, I'm excited, and I think most critically and most importantly, our students are excited about the opportunities that this grant has opened up for our school.